Hi, we are from the University of Guelph's Wellness Education and Promotion Center, which is located on the first floor of the JT Powell Building. You could also find us online. We are an educational resource center that provides information and resources to students, staff, faculty, residents, life staff, and off-campus groups. Disclaimer, this workshop is intended to be fun and to serve as an introduction to sex toys. Please note that you must be 18 years of age to purchase a sex toy. The material that we are presenting is sexually explicit and may be offensive to some. You are free to leave at any point during the workshop. We are going to talk about may not be things that you're interested in exploring yourself, and that's okay. If you're not currently sexually active, that's okay too. Everyone has their own preferences. However, we ask that you be respectful of the sexual diversity on this campus. Please be conscious of the way your words and actions may affect other people. We are also challenging you to think beyond the commonly held stereotypes about sexuality that are often portrayed in media. And with that, let's begin. Alrighty, welcome to the first part of our Sex Toys webinar series. Through this webinar series, we hope to build respect for sexual diversity, understand the importance of sexual communication in a relationship, and enhance your appreciation of different sex toys. We have some myth busting, some tips to reduce risk when using sex toys, um, discussions of the different categories of sex toys, and how to use them. Um, so, by the end of this introductory webinar series, we hope you'll be able to categorize toys generally by function, restate three ways to make toy use lower risk, and generate suggestions of appropriate toys slash toy uses when presented with different scenarios. And through this, you'll be demonstrating inclusive thinking about gender and bodies. So, in this way, you'll be better equipped with knowledge about sex, toy diversity, safety, and care. So for the first part of the webinar series, this one, we will be explaining the sex positive choice and harm reduction models to set up the atmosphere and language of the series in an inclusive way. So over here at Wellness Center, we strive to be a safe space, meaning we work to be free of homophobia, transphobia, racism, ableism, sexism, and other forms of discrimination. One way we'll create a safer space for this workshop is by using inclusive language. So, in this sex toy workshop, we will say partner instead of assuming that a person of a certain gender identity would be paired with a person who has a certain gender identity. Terms like girlfriend, boyfriend, or saying the girl would do this and the guy does this can place people into roles which do not suit them at all. Often people assume she and he heterosexuality about sexual partnerships and behavior. So by using inclusive language, we are trying to challenge the idea. When we say partner to a group like this, it leaves it up to you to each of you to place the information we share into your own personal context, instead of making anyone feel ignored. Um, partner is a key one, but we will also use sexual language, sexual inclusive language by distinguishing between sex and gender. Sex meaning one's biological characteristics characterized as male or female at birth, and gender meaning one personally felt truth and performance of femaleness and maleness. We must note that this is a simplified explanation and that some people do not identify as male or female or as feminine or masculine or they identify as both in some way. We will be inclusive of this by saying person with a penis, not the guy or man, and by saying penetrating or penetrated instead of assuming what action is being performed by a partner. So especially when we talk about sex toys, people of diverse bodies and genders can perform all kinds of pleasurable sexual stimulation regardless of their body parts. At this time, we also wish to acknowledge that sexual behavior does not only happen between two people. It can be enjoyed alone or with multiple people. It is ever unclear to you. If it is ever unclear to you what we are saying because this way of speaking may not be familiar to you, please ask us through email or in other forms of our wellness programming that we'll talk about at the end. We can learn together. It is totally okay to be confused. As I mentioned earlier, when you began at the beginning, the Wellness Education Center, we work to be free from discrimination. This means that when we talk about sexuality, we talk about it in terms of the sex positive model, the choice model, and the harm reduction model. Uh, so we want to share these ideas with you and how they work so that you might understand why we run this workshop the way we do. So Tasha will kind of take it from here and she'll go through some discussions about how these models work. So the first model we're going to talk about is sex positive model. And this model is about promoting sexual expression as a positive and pleasurable thing. 
A lot of us have received sex ed that focused on telling us to abstain or to delay and inspired fearfulness and confusion about our bodies and our sexuality. When we work from the sex positive model, we hope to encourage people to be the kind of sexual person that feels right to them and to acknowledge the pleasurable part of sexual behavior. Part of being sex positive is being anti-oppressive and challenging heteronormative ideas about what kinds of sexuality are better. We work from the perspective that sexual expression is everyone's right. The next model is the choice model, and it's exactly what it seems. We wanna present information on sex that supports your ability to choose what is best for you. We do this by trying to avoid advice, so we're not gonna tell you how you should be behaving. Instead, we're gonna tell you information that you might be able to use. You can choose how to use this information, whether you're sexually active now or might become sexually active, or maybe this information is useful for you as a friend to people who use toys, or maybe you've been using toys and learned some information about something that's new to you. It's up to you. That's what the choice model is all about. The harm reduction model is a natural extension of the two models I just mentioned. The purpose of this model is not to focus on the dangers or scary stuff about certain sexual behaviors, but instead to focus on exploring ways to reduce harms associated with those behaviors. So basically, you choose what sexual behaviors are for you, and our role is to give you information about how to reduce risks rather than try to tell you what to do. Thanks for listening, and check out the other webinars we have for more information about sex toys.